Shalom Aleikum brothers and sisters. Today we're going to talk about what happened in 9-11. Without going into details, let's keep this uh, basic. There are many unanswered questions of the three skyscrapers on 9-11. Uh, One has to do with the intense heat and another uh, uniform downward acceleration. There's plenty of evidence of temperature high enough to melt steel including molten sphere of iron. Melted steel full of holes in FEMA reported melted being seen by NIST. Fused elements of steel and concrete and many eyewitnesses you see molten steel molten steel running down the channel mills. So the question is what heat melted that steel off it? To liquefy steel, but you can bend steel with your bare hands if it gets over like 1800 degrees. That's not very hot in the realm of, you know, fire, especially when fueled by kerosene from jet fuel. I mean, it's, it can compromise the integrity of any structure. Trust me. So he's very wrong question remains where did the heat come from and any steel co uh, compromise would be up where the fires were sagging down but not exploding outwards in a shower of dust others have posted experience proving obvious that if you heat steel rod, uh, uh, if you heat steel uh, red hot, it gets very weak. So I am taking time out of my busy day to try to put to rest one of the more moronic things I have seen on the internet lately, and that's saying something. Through my Facebook feed, I saw yet again that old tired argument, that question. Jet fuel only burns at 1500 degrees, and since steel melts at 2700 degrees, 9-11 was a conspiracy. I am so sick and tired of this argument. I put this in the air. Now watch this. I'm going to take my pinky finger. My pinky finger, half-inch solid steel. Check it out. It's a freaking noodle. Your argument is invalid. Get over it. Most people, and certainly thousands, architects and engineers already knew that this you know they already knew this so what can we learn from his experience if we apply it to the 9-11 towers well if all the steel in the tower lobby was red hot and there was uh, a horizontal force like a strong wind the tower should have tipped over but where was the heat is was way up on the upper floor where was the heat it was way up on the upper floor the lower floors remain stone cold and very strong as people evacuated, how did the lower towers fall? The up and the upper flower is uh, accelerated down into the larger, cold, uh, stronger so uh, structure below. And the only force we are, are told that caused this remarkable motion was a downward. Uh, from gravity alone. If you hold this up as a reason for conspiracy, you are an idiot. 
But what happened when the blacksmith applied a downward force? The steel rod didn't accelerate down like the top of the towers and he's right. Obviously it's not melted but that's what the same jet fuel can't uh, melt steel. It's all about those fires couldn't have melted that steel. <laughs> 